Remember, short format are for pets, long format are for being neurodivergent in a neurotypical world, and I throw crafts into both. I do have curated playlists that will make it easier for you to watch the content in my channel that you're more interested in. I would have multiple channels, but I don't have the spoons to make that. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you're interacting with my content and I appreciate your presence. If you would, please like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. I didn't actually check the date. It might not be the 20th. I think it's actually the 19th. If you're angry, disappointed, annoyed, perplexed, perturbed, on overload, whatever with a person, tell them. There's no justifiable reason to give a person the silent treatment. Silent treatments are degrading, demoralizing, evil, vicious, traumatic things. For people who have been ostracized, for people who don't understand society, for people who are trying desperately to fit in and really know that they don't, if you give people the silent treatment who fall into any of those categories, all they do is spend their time racking their brain trying to figure out what it is that they've done that was socially unacceptable, lead to roundabout, negative, descending feedback within a person's head. And uh, that feedback can take on any form. There's, there's really no rhyme or reason to where that thought process is going to go because a lot of people who are neurodivergent and have been ostracized and have been bullied and all the other categories that I'm talking about tend to overthink everything, tend to overthink every minute interaction, something that a neurotypical person wouldn't even think a second time about, a neurodivergent person person will spend hours reevaluating and reanalyzing and reassessing the entire interaction. And if there's no input from the other person, if the other person is giving the silent treatment, then there's nothing that that neurodivergent person has to go on to figure out what it is is going on. So communication the long and the short, the easy way to solve this is to communicate. Don't stop communicating with someone. Tell somebody, especially someone who falls into one of the above categories, what it is that's going on in your brain. Give them an exact, precise assessment of what's going on. A simple statement will do. And if you need time away from a person, tell them. Be honest. Be truthful. Make the statement of... I'm overwhelmed. This is why I'm overwhelmed. I need some time to decompress. If the person that you're talking to is neurodivergent, you have to give them a time frame. Um, many, many, many neurodivergent people run on schedules and have, as I've said before in other videos, have schedules and have timelines in their brains. And if you don't give them a concrete time, an actual numerical number and unit time, then uh, they're going to obsess about when exactly it is that you're going to start to speak to them again. So if you need time, say it. Absolutely 100% say it. Just come out and say, I'm overwhelmed. I have X number of things on my plate. And this is one thing that I can take off my plate for two hours. And I am going to decompress for those two hours. And then set a timer. Come back in two hours. If you need more time, tell the person. Be honest. Communicate. I can't stress enough how important it is to actually communicate with someone when you are in any form of relationship with that person. All right. They can be a coworker. They can be a friend. They can be a relationship that is romantic. They can be a relationship that is familial. Any form of interaction with a person on a long-term basis in which you consider that person to be a part of, no matter what type of part, but a part of your life, you owe that person the respect to say, I need time, I need blank number of minutes, blank number of hours to process the things that are going on in my mind, and I will check in with you after that length of time. It's a simple conversation. Most people will be receptive of the 
fact that you have been honest with them, that you have explained to them what's going on in a truthful manner and will respect your wishes to have some alone time. But if you just go silent, they've got nothing. They have absolutely nothing to go on. And they will go over and over and over the last interaction with you ad nauseum in their brains, beating themselves up over why exactly you have decided to no longer be a part of their interaction. No silent treatments. Silent treatments are horrible. Silent treatments are awful. So just don't do it. Speak. Period. I didn't get very many done, but that's okay. Thank you for watching. I have no idea what length of time it's going to be until I make another video, but whatever length of time it is, I hope it's awesome for you.